We are creative, we are progressive. My story oftentimes isn't mine, uh, it's the story of everybody around. A lot of the younger artists that are out here today, I will tell them, respect the lineage. And he is the Stir Competition winner and he goes by the name of Darrell Lyons. How are you? I'm great right now, it's such a soulful movement right now. Um, I was the first poet, I was the first act period in the rhymes room, I was the lead off leg and a relay of a lot of great talent. There's so much talent that the fact that I'm first, there's so much talent that came behind me, you might not remember me, so make sure you play this interview twice, because <laughs> it was so much talent, it was astounding, like, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was crazy, I mean, it's, it's, it's a real blessing. People got to start really supporting black art, and, and that's what STIR is about, and if you were, if you were in that rhymes room, it was something yes. pivotal. It was something epic. I wish everybody watching this, I wish you were in there. And if you weren't, you need to be there next time, I promise you. It feels good to get on stage and grab a mic and say whatever you want to say, point blank, period, and completely clear your mind, and it's accepted as art. It's accepted for what it's worth. As of right now, I'm Darrell Lyons on Facebook. D-U-R-R-E-L-L-L-Y-O-N-S on Facebook. And on Twitter, it's 5 Dirty Words. It's the number 5, D-U-R-T-Y-W-O-R-D-Z. 5 Dirty Words on Twitter. And I'm, I'm growing. I'm, I'm growing right now. I can't win for losing, though. I keep abusing my destiny with the ones I'm choosing. So, who I'm fooling, man? Ain't no power in this God. No one loves a wretch like me but God. Who inspires you? Queen Sheba. She's, yeah, I mean, just her content, her delivery, and her experience, her background. I like real music, real musicians. We have here uh, Mr. Kenny Pugh. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Tell us what you do and why you do what you do, because this is an important person to know. Well, I am a relationship strategist. I help people define a strategy for their relationships holistically. So I take a look at every component in a person's life, their personal relationships, their spiritual relationships, their professional relationships, and most importantly, a lot of the times in people's lives, their intimate relationships or romance. And so I look at those and help people define a plan for them. Okay. What do you find is the most common issue, concern in relationships? The number one common concern is that of communication and not having real conversations. Most of the issues that people experience in their relationships can all be traced back to lack of communication. And so that's one of the things that I deal with when I meet with people coaching one-on-one -on -one, is to help them define communication and establish healthy communication. Me and God, we get down like that. I inspire life. Music in general is a beautiful thing. The black people in our community, we have $1.2 billion in buying power. Like, that's how much the black community spends. And for us to spend that much in our networking platform to be not as strong as it needs to be, people got to start really supporting black art. 